Jordan River Anderson of Norway House Cree Nation is one of Canada's greatest heroes, and he's only five years old. What most Canadians don't understand is that First Nations children actually get less government services than other Canadian children. And Jordan found himself in the midst of one of these conundrums. You see, provincial governments, their child welfare and education statutes, they apply on reserves, but they typically don't extend their funding on reserve. They expect the federal government to step up to the plate. And when the federal government does so inadequately, or doesn't do it at all, children end up getting second-class services even though they live in a first world country. Well, Jordan was born to Ernest and Virginia Anderson in Norway House Cree Nation, and he had complex medical needs. For the first two years of his life, he had to live in Winnipeg Hospital. But his family, they prayed for the day that most of us as Canadians think of as bringing the baby home. And at the age of two, Jordan would have gone home and he would have been cared for if he was a non-Aboriginal child. The province of Manitoba would have picked up the bill. But because he was First Nations and his family resided on reserve, an argument broke out between the province and the federal government about who should pay. Well, the decision by the bureaucrats was that Jordan should stay in hospital even though he was better and doctors said he could go home. Days turned into weeks as they had case conferences figuring out who should pay. And Jordan watched other kids get better and go home and he stayed in hospital. And sadly at the age of five he slipped into a coma and passed away, never having spent a day in a family home while the governments continued to argue. Jordan's family reached past their grief and said that this is never to happen to another Canadian child. So in the spirit of Jordan's memory, we've created Jordan's principle, which says that you meet the needs of the child first when one of these disputes crops up and then figure out the argument later. In Canada, racial equality is something that we should all be fighting for as Canadians. We should be following the leadership of this five-year-old little boy who crossed rivers of equality that governments are just learning to follow.